Hey guys, this is Brian here from 3D for Medical and today we're going to talk about the muscles of the thigh. This area is a complex area but it's divided into three compartments, anterior, medial and posterior. And in this video we're going to focus on the anterior and medial compartment muscles. So using complete anatomy we're going to take a look at the anterior compartments. Now overall the main function of these muscles is to flex the hip and extend the knee like you would when you're kicking a football. So what we can see is, is it got five different muscles. We've got the iliopsoas, the psoas minor, sartorius, quadriceps femoris and articularis genus. So let's take a quick look at each of these individually. The iliopsoas is a combined term for two muscles, the iliacus and the psoas major. The psoas minor is pretty much just a smaller version of the psoas major. The next muscle we're going to take a look at is the sartorius. And sartorius comes from the Latin word sartor, meaning tailor, because when you contract this muscle, you assume what's called the tailor's position, which is basically where you will flex your hip, you'll flex your knee, you'll abduct the hip, and you'll laterally rotate the hip. The next set of muscles we're going to take a look at is the quadriceps femoris. Now this is a combined term for four individual muscles, hence the word quadriceps. Now the names of these muscles actually kind of explain what you see in dissection. The rectus femoris is the first muscle. When you do dissection, you'll see this muscle as a straight muscle running down the thigh. And that's what rectus femoris means. It's Latin for straight muscle of the thigh. The next muscle we're going to take a look at is the vastus medialis. This name is Latin in origin and the word vastus means huge. So basically this is the huge muscle on the medial side of the thigh. Same with vastus lateralis. It's the huge muscle on the lateral side of the thigh. And then the final muscle of the quadriceps femoris, which is the vastus intermedius, is the large muscle in between. The last muscle we're going to take a look at in the anterior compartment is the articularis genus. We can see that here if we make a cut just across the vastus intermedius. It's a quite a small muscle and its name is Latin in origin, meaning muscle of the knee joint. The next set of muscles we're going to take a look at now is the muscles of the medial compartment. Now the main function of these muscles is adduction, which is basically the movement where you bring your legs closer together. Overall, there's six muscles in this group. You have the gracilis, the pectineus, adductor longus, adductor brevis, adductor magnus, and finally we have the adductor minimus. The pectineus muscle's name basically comes from the fact that it's attached to a region of the pubic bone called the pectin pubis. The next muscle in this area is the gracilis. This name comes from Latin origin, which means slender. And you can see that when you look at this muscle, it's got a strap-like appearance. The names of the remaining four muscles in the medial compartment pretty much speak for themselves. They all have a doctor in their name, which explains their function. First one we have is the adductor longus, which is basically the long one. Then we have the adductor brevis, which is the short one. The adductor magnus is the large one. And the adductor minimus is the small one. So that's it guys, that's the muscles of the anterior and medial compartments of the thigh covered. There's a lot to remember in this area, but just remember, if you can understand the reasons behind the names of these muscles, it makes it a lot easier for you not only to identify them, but also to determine what their function is. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to subscribe to get even more tips on how to learn about the human body with complete anatomy.